What is up everybody, my name is Mr. Feet, and in today's video I'll be going over a bedrock seed I found while playing survival, which has a mansion right next to spawn, literally 100 blocks. Before we get to that, I would like to thank you guys for the support, it means a lot. We're well on our way to a thousand subs by March, and I appreciate it. Anyway, this is the seed, um, it'll also be in the description, um, but yeah. There's a bunch of other stuff in the description too about um, spawner locations. Well, let's get started. So right off the bat, you're going to spawn right in front of an abandoned village, which of course, plentiful food and beds. It's abandoned, it kind of sucks, but this makes up for it. Within a hundred blocks of spawn, you have a mansion. And I've never really seen a mansion this close to spawn before. To be honest, I didn't even really know it was possible. But, you know, I'm surprised, and it worked out. So, right behind spawn, too, you know, we also got a ravine. Now, this ravine is special because it has diamonds. Diamonds out in the, you know, public, I guess you could say. Um, it's very uh, simple. They're very uh, out in the open, so, you know, it's not that hard to find if you just will go down there. And, yeah, that's pretty much free diamonds. Well, you know, why wouldn't you take them? Uh, right behind the ravine, though, you have the ruined portal. Now, it's not a special. I mean, it has two blocks of gold, but the chest is garbage. Not good. Pretty sure this was in it. Um, but yeah, not that good. But if you come from the abandoned village and you follow this weird plane, and I'll, I'll go over a little bit in a second. But there's a Y axis coordinate that like infinitely is spawning villages. And so I'll show that um, in a second. But as we come over to this village, it's pretty unique. It's another abandoned village, so that's not unique with this world. There's a ton of them. But underneath it is a skeleton spawner. And it is um, pretty much right lined up with the door of the cathedral and there's the skeleton spawner now the chest don't have like anything really in it so it's not really worth showing and if you come up here and take a left at this village you'll come up on a zombie spawner and an actual village that isn't abandoned thank god so if you come down here you'll find a zombie spawner now this has something actually interesting cat music disc and a book that isn't that good but the cat music disc kind of makes it up because I know people collect them and yeah now up here you have the village um, nothing special you know it's in a swamp but it has villagers and if you come over here as well you find another village <laughs> talking about this whole area is just full of villages it's abandoned again so you know just supplies that you could be able to use so that's always beneficial and on top of that, you have a pillager outpost right next to it, which is also pretty close to the actual villagers. Now, here's the axis plane I'm going to be talking about. So, on like y axis, like 116 village way down there, if you can see that, there is a moving line, right? And I walked 13,000 blocks in survival in this exact line, and all I found was villages on this exact line. Now, I don't know if this is a bedrock bug or this is intentional, but as I certainly have never seen it before. I've never realized it either. And there's another village right past this. So this one has villagers, has a blacksmith. And if you see in the top left corner of my screen, you can kind of see the remnants of a village over there. And then there's a pillager outpost also, literally in the same path. Very weird, I don't know why. For 13,000 blocks, I found like 13 villages, pretty much one every 1,000 blocks, but all in the same axis plane, which I thought was kind of weird. So I'll take you to the stronghold, and I'll be right back. And I'm back, and right on the screen, you have the near stronghold coordinates, which is right below me. Now, if you take, if you look in the distance, you can see the mansion, and if you come in this diagonal pattern, you'll come right up on to the village and right beneath it at these exact coordinates 
it's a stronghold. So when you come down here, if you were to mine right in this exact spot, you're going to want to head through here. And then you're going to take a right, and then you're going to head down two flights of stairs. And you're going to take a left. And then you're going to take another left. And then a right. And then a left. And then you're going to mine through here to get this stronghold. Now that's faster than trying to find it, and this is how I found it anyway. So yeah, that's pretty much the whole seed. If you liked the video, uh, please give me a like and support it. Uh, I appreciate all the support as well. Get us to a thousand subs. I do really appreciate that. And yeah, thank you for watching.